Uh, well, I've been working on this song like I, I uh, started last week, I believe it was, and so I thought it'd be good to go over session strings. I haven't covered this one before. One of my favorite uh, instruments, besides pianos, of course, is the strings. <clears throat> different things you can do with the string sounds the feel they add and so on and so forth I grew up on classical music so that's probably part of my so I already have some settings pulled up First thing you notice, of course, the layout they did. I like the design, and um, there are there are a couple of different sections. Well, more than two. We have mode here and sound. So mode is velocity switch. So that's that has to do with the settings down here. So, uh, velocity switch and main. So main is right now sustained. <laughs> And velocity switch to accented. So if I were to really push it, like um, so let's do this. If I were to really push it like this, actually I have to push it quite hard, and you probably heard the keys more than the sound. So I'm going to bring it down. Let's put it at 50. turn the mic down so you can hear only the sound. And of course you can do multiple things with it, like you could change this to, um, well, let's change it to slide up, something obvious. So. So that's that's a nice effect. Of, oh, hang on. <laughs> Trying to make sure I don't make a mess over there. Okay. Um, so we'll put it back to accented. We could make. Uh, we could put it all the way up to 127. So you absolutely just have to dig into those keys uh, to get any kind of uh, change so we could we could also change it too I really should let it load but <laughs> all right almost done Something sounded weirder than the last note. Let me try it again. Or you could change it. There are various things. We won't go into all of those. What's this one? We'll 
be nice to do on a key switch. Uh, pizzicato, of course. <laughs> various things. Now, uh, that is the velocity switch mode. We can go over to our rhythm animator, and this is a whole different way of, of uh, um, experiencing, well not just experiencing, but a uh, whole new uh, way of uh, playing a string library. Um, sorry, I'm tired. My words are not <laughs> coming out the way I want them to um, but you'll get you'll get a better idea once I uh, once this loads <laughs> trying not to make a mess on the stove so um, rhythm animator as you would expect it plays patterns and you can have your patterns here a visual representation of them so let's start here You get the idea. So, um, so this is there. There are different patterns. This is, and you can you can switch. So now we'll, we'll play this. that go with this what is this yeah, there's there's a lot that I haven't explored with this but these are some of the things I've played with now uh, something I didn't uh, show when we were on velocity switch was a smart voice split so this will split voices of chords uh, it will split what you play across the uh, section it's an 11 piece um, ensemble so it has a tighter and in, more intimate sound um, smart chord let's see this also right now in the key of C major. Uh, let's try Dorian. See what that does. Oh, 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 oh ha. Here are your modifier keys.
So you have your, I guess, uh, your your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh chords. Of course, I'm in Dorian, so that's uh, going a little bit beyond my understanding <laughs> of, of what that is. And then you have your modifiers with the the, the black keys. So let's see if I go to uh, melodic minor. I like melodic minors. We'll keep it in C. This is me just randomly pushing them. Um, let's go to D major. Of course, I still have it in the. Uh, um, what mode is it? Still have it in pizzicato. Let's put it back in sustain. <laughs> With that, then you can decide that. So we're probably almost out of time here. Yeah, I've got about a minute. You can decide that you want. If I actually knew what I was doing a bit more with these, I could choose from the type of chords there. But uh, the instrument, I think, is only as limited as you <laughs> as as uh, you are with knowing how to use it. So that didn't go into a whole lot with it, but kind of. <laughs> of like an introduction to a couple of the basics there's way more there's the effects which has which I haven't even played with yet um, your different spaces and colors and stuff like that so that's just a quick look at session strings I'm gonna keep playing with this and my goal is to be more proficient at it and make better better music Thanks for joining me. Um, see you in another video.